They're feisty, fun, and forever proud to call Cleveland home. You're watching Cribs in the CLE. Josh and Maria live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Cribs in the CLE. I'm Josh Cribs. And I'm Maria Cribs, and welcome to another beautiful day. How you feeling, baby? I'm feeling good. It's Friday. It's and Friday. Look at this. Fine, peace. Hold on, wait a minute. You just say this Friday. I, I, I thought you told me we weren't going to say the names of the, the, the days of the week anymore because we jacked it up that one day. Yeah, but you I just say this Friday. Okay. <laughs> but look at that dress she oh, got on. Y'all, y'all can't. Y'all don't know this dress she got on. Stop, Josh. Stop. Yeah. Look, y'all, y'all, okay, y'all got to bear with me during this show because I had some nervous energy. Now, look, we got nervous. a 17-year-old daughter, and you know today's opening day at Cedar Point. So any mm. other day, I try to get her to run errands for me, for me and try to get her to meet us out. We was at Pine Crush, trying to get right. her to meet us out there. Oh, I don't drive on the freeway. I, I, I'm just not ready for that. And this was, like, literally, what, Tuesday, right, trying right, to get her right. to meet us out, um, out east. And so all of a sudden, it's a miracle. She can drive on the freeway. And everything's all right in the world. Yeah, it's senior skip day. Am I supposed to say that out loud? Uh, I think it's a normal Is thing. Is it known? Okay. It's not like they're it's... having class for real, for real yeah, at this point. Yeah, it's senior you know? skip day, so they all decided to go to Cedar Point. So, that, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better because they're like 10 minutes away. So, I'm a little... But she took our 11-year-old son, which that don't make no sense because he's not a senior. Yeah. But they yeah, you let so both been, of them yeah. skip. I right. feel like some way, somehow, I'm going to end up at Cedar Point today, yeah, man. You should be... That's truancy. <laughs> No, I called him room. up. I didn't give. I said he's out of town. Get her. I didn't lie and say he's sick. I don't want nobody thinking, you know, oh, COVID going around. You can't just say you're sick, you know, and make, make that excuse up. Right, right, right. So I, I got nervous energy, but I'm going to try to calm down. And then we got to go to North Carolina tomorrow. Yes. We got a lot to do. We have a lot to Ooh, do. All right, let's get on with the show. Now, remember yeah. yesterday we told you all about Ellen and how she's saying goodbye to her show after the end of next season. And rumors, Page Six, you know about Page Six, the website? And the, I do not. It's like, it's a really hot website. Okay. Um, that it's rumored that Tiffany Haddish may be her replacement. Tiffany but I was Haddish. thinking it's not really the replacement because Ellen had her run. Mm -hmm. It would be, if Tiffany Haddish was to get her own talk show, it would just be her talk show. Like, why right. does that be she's replacing well, Ellen, you know? Well, it's her time slot. That's what it is, her time slot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But eh, it works out that way. But Maria, you remember you said you liked that show, Cheaters? You yeah, remember that? I, I love Cheaters. That's my show right there. Yeah, it, it is your show. But what about the show called Liars? Liars. I got this video I want everybody to see. Check this video Liars. out. I never seen that. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I just seen Maria on the cameras outside getting a package. What? She thinks she's slick. I'm going to go see what she's doing. Maria, huh? what you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Down here, uh, cooking a little something. Oh, you cooking? Yeah, I'm just a little fat and hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I just woke up. Oh, okay, I'll bring you some up when I'm done. Okay. Darby? Yeah. Okay, this Liar. is no, no, no. This is a talk show, Liar. not a reality show. I should not be filmed in my own home. Now that Liar. I was thinking about cooking as I was opening up my skate, getting them packages. Josh, you can't and, do and that. that super secret. So I woke up. I seen her bringing the package in, and she looking all around. I'm thinking like. <laughs> I'm looking around like she's gonna try to hide the package. Ain't I thought something. you were asleep, Josh. You can't be doing that. I don't, I don't do that to you. Liar. Why, why are you always put me on blast? You just throw me under the bus every time on the show. That's mm -mm. okay. I got something for you. Mm -mm. It's okay. coming. One, it's coming one day. Okay. Watch. Keep my I'm, mark my words. All right. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. Josh, know that's. Not, I didn't really lie. I was. I was going to cook. Did I bring some food up for you eventually? N no. Later no. on that night, I did. Later on that night. <laughs> But All look, right, Maria, go ahead, I, I want to move He's on. I want you guys <laughs> to understand this next story. Listen, Chicago Animal Shelter uh -huh. released a thousand feral cats thousand onto cats. its streets to help fight their rodent, their rat problem. Huh? After being named the rat capital of the U.S. for the sixth year in a row, Chicago is. They released all these cats, and you know it looked like this on, oh. on the streets of Chicago. <laughs> oh, not 
whole scared. around Chicago, it looked like this right now. Not this is a, this is what I picture when they say they release a thousand cats to take care of the rats. So, but then they gonna have a cat problem. But then they gonna have Spike. I should have got a picture of Spike. Oh, they gonna release a thousand dogs. No, not even a thousand oh, oh my dogs. Goodness, if, what? if you had a cat problem, you know, you you just round up the cats and then try to give them away. You yeah. don't have to release. Dogs to get know, the cat. To, I know. The cat. They're not the really world? natural predators. But you know, remember we were in Chicago and we uh, were waiting. We were waiting outside of some uh, restaurant where you had to kind of walk up to the window to order, and we did see a bunch of mouse traps. So maybe that, yeah, they might have an issue. So for the, for six years in a row, Dang. they're the rat capital of the world. I love Chicago too. I think That's one crazy. of their yeah, one of their sports teams. Uh, we love Chicago. Not releasing cats. I one can't of their do sports that. teams needs to try to win something. So they can be known some, like, by like something. Like a cat other. or something. Right, right, right. Ah, they need to win. They need to win something. A championship. Oh, so or they something. don't have that that rat name on. Right. Okay, so I everybody's not thinking about rats. Well, they're the rat capital. They gonna of the be the world. cat capital because those, I mean, cat, those cats gonna multiply. <laughs> so look, baby. Remember, okay. So remember on the show last week when we were was that last week we were uh, doing the Bill yes, Gates shoot yes. your shot at Melinda Gates. Yes. So a lot of people were in my comments like, ew, I wouldn't want either any any of them. Yes. So I got a couple pictures I want to say y'all are sleeping on Bill Gates because look what they've done on the shade room. I love oh the shade my room gosh. website. They've actually superimposed Bill Gates' face on like some you know rappers and entertainers' bodies. So it's how he. And dressed. I'm like, y'all might want to change y'all's mind. He might be a fixer upper. Look at him. Man, they now, don't he look different, him, though? He they look, look different because they got to put him in different clothes. Everybody's look changing their mind now. The bill, man, and some other than uh, TJ Maxx. Look, I he think... look cold right there. Look. Yeah. That's probably, is that future? Whose hand is that? That's probably oh, no, Michael man. B. Jordan's outfit or something. He ain't look. got a body like that. Bill though. got some swag to him. He ain't got no body. He got a body. Like look, that. I got a body picture. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> That ain't adi, 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 adi. He that looks, ain't, that's I'm just not saying, y'all gotta date a fixer up every once in a while. You gotta see somebody's potential. Bill, Bill Gates that's got That's not Bill. He got billions of dollars. He already got potential, man. I we gotta can, show y'all what Melinda look like next. Show me what you're working with. Now look, coming <laughs> up next is my favorite drink that goes perfectly with brunch. We're celebrating National Mimosa Day. But first, <laughs> we got two CW stars. Mm -hmm. We get personal with Maggie and Jordan on Charm mm -hmm. when we return. <laughs> We're watching Cribs in the CLE. So we're excited to have our next two guests on the show. Now look, for three seasons, they have cast their spells over many and kept them wanting more charm. Yes, welcome to the show, Sarah Jeffrey. Uh -huh. Or Maggie, <laughs> as fans would know her by, and Jordan <laughs> Donica. What's up, you guys? What's up, what's up? Welcome what's to up? the show. You? Yes. Sarah, you look a princess, not a witch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How you doing, Jordan? What's up? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. I'm right, glad to have you. I'm to virtually meet you all. I know, virtual, yes. virtual friends. First, I got to start off with Jordan, man. Uh, you know, uh, me, I play in the NFL, and I had an opportunity to act. <laughs> And I had to play myself. I never had an opportunity to be a different character. Now you get to play Jordan. Jordan is Jordan. Not, not yourself in reality, but your same name. How, no. how was that? It's a, it's a trip, and I got to tell you, it's a trip for my niece, too. She's eight, and it's, I'm always trying to get her to understand, like, hey, even though I'm playing Jordan, I'm still your Uncle Jordan, but I'm not that Jordan. Right. Very <laughs> much, you know, trying to trying to uh, <laughs> talk to an eight-year-old about how it all works. Right. But it's actually uh, pretty fun. But a lot of us on this show seem to have the same names as our character, because Melanie also has the same name uh -huh. as her. You guys are in season three now, correct? Mm -hmm. Can you tell our viewers and your fans what can they expect to go down this season? Yeah, yeah. So, so they're just dealing with trying to uh, figure out this ancient, ancient, ancient magic that no, not many people or beings on the earth uh, still understand or practice. So, a lot of this season has been exploring ancient forms of magic and spirituality that the Charm Ones had never explored before, in order to find solutions to this to the seemingly new problem. Oh, wow. Now, Josh, uh, you, they're not keeping it real. They're not keeping it real. <laughs> Look, cut to the chase. Do y'all hook up? Are y'all going to get together this season or what? We need to know. We need to know. Come on, Sarah. I don't know. Maybe we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, look. Look at Jordan. Look at Jordan. <laughs> Jordan like, hmm. Now, look, I have to ask you guys, when you, you're dealing with potions and spells and things like this, are you guys, do you ever dabble into the mystical world or have, like, a fan or a viewer say, you guys are doing the spells all wrong? <laughs> You know, people are definitely opinionated, but I think it always comes from like a, a really loving place and like 
for me at least, I love to be educated because there are people who practice, yeah. um, are practicing witches and um, in our previous season we had um, an actual a, a witch in our La um, Latinx witch in our writer's room, which is really cool um, because he was just so educated on it and really not knew um, how to properly represent that. Um, so yeah, I mean, people definitely chime in, but for me, I'm always like, tell me, tell me more. I want to know, I want to know how to do it correctly. I want to know how to represent. Oh yeah. Uh, I'd be yeah. like, hey, give me, give me a potion so I can get uh, my paycheck increased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, look, now, Jordan, you you've been, you had to take up some training to do this position, from what I understand. You uh, dabble in some boxing now? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I grew up uh, playing football and basketball oh, wow. and watching you, Mr. Cribs. Oh, I appreciate uh, that. Yes. Returning, returning. Yeah, no, it's an honor, truly, to be on the phone call, trying not to be a fanboy over here. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I never, I boxed back in high school for wide receiver training, and so um, when I got the job, they were like, have you ever boxed? No. Nope. And uh, again, this is pre-COVID, so I got to get in the gym and box, and it was, it's a great workout. Highly recommend for everybody. Yeah. It's great for me. I love it. I box and I love it. When he said football, I was thinking either wide receiver or he right. looks pretty tall, tight yeah, end. Yeah. Correct. Check out Charm on their new night, yes. Friday nights at 8 p.m. on the CW. Thank you guys so much for joining Thank us. You guys. We got more Thank cribs in the CLE. When we return, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Cribs in the CLE. Josh and Maria live. Welcome back to the show. Now, I'm so excited for our next guest because as far as I'm concerned, every day is National Mimosa Day. What well, I mean? I bet it is to you. <laughs> Shoot, the real National Mimosa Day is this, is this Sunday. <laughs> and joining us today to put her spin on the cocktail is lifestyle influencer Shannon C. Ireland. Hey, Shannon C. Ireland. Hey, Shannon Welcome. C. How are you guys today? We are well. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. She's been here several times. Yes. But can you tell our viewers if they're just now tuning in a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm a lifestyle blogger. I have a blog, She's Becoming Domestic.com. On that blog, you can find tons of recipes. I also have four kids. And uh, you can also find three different recipes for mimosas, which is what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Okay. Now, I partake in mimosas, you know. Often. And they're not your typical mimosas anymore. They're doing more than just the orange juice and the Prosecco. So absolutely, absolutely. There are so many different spins. And I mean, even when you go to restaurants, you now see these mimosa bars and there's so many fancy different recipes on there. But of course, the traditional mimosa is orange juice and champagne. And that's where it gets its name. A mimosa is actually a flower, guys. Did you know that? A mimosa is what now? It's a flower. It's a it is? It, yes, it's a vibrant yellow flower, and it really resembles the color of a traditional mimosa, and that's hence where the name mimosa came from. I did not know that. Oh, mm. my goodness. I thought it was just champagne and uh, orange juice. So, <laughs> so Shanesty, we, we change our fruit sometimes. Sometimes we use a, what, a grapefruit, grapefruit or something like that? Yeah, or... put some St. Germain in there. What, yeah. what special do you have for us today? Yeah. Okay. So my recipe is actually going to be a pineapple orangesicle mimosa. Oh. Get this. So instead of the orange juice, which of course is the typical mimosa ingredient of choice, I'm going to use orange sherbet for this. Mm. Oh, wow. I put about a half, about a cup of orange sherbet in there. Okay. We're going to need a blender for this one. All right. And then I'm going to use Prosecco. You can use any sparkling wine you want. You can use champagne or Prosecco. You're going to do about two or three cups, depending on how strong you want it. OK. In the blender there. And then I like to take some pineapple juice. It's really simple, and it's just really flavorful. I like to do the unsweetened version of the pineapple juice, about a cup of that. OK, so like the 100% pineapple juice. OK. Yeah, exactly. And then all you're going to do is blend it. I'm going to blend it for one quick second, because I know it's going to be kind of loud. That's OK. Go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> really frothy and mm. delicious. And guys, I tell you what, this is absolutely divine. You're going to get either a champagne flute or a white wine glass, pour it in there. You can even top it with uh, orange slices or pineapple slices, Ooh. and that's it. Shannon, see, my mouth is sour, watering. Baby. I'm a little thirsty. No, you go, go ahead and hand me that. Hand I, I know. I'm like, I'm uh, like, give me right here, right here. <laughs> That, that, that now, what types of food do mimosas? I know I usually have it at breakfast. Is it right. just a, is it only a breakfast or brunch? Is it a breakfast brunch uh, type of beverage? 
So typically it is that the cocktail mimosa goes best with breakfast or brunch items. Think sausage, bacon, eggs, waffles. I love the Julian's recipe waffles. Oh, let me see those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're gonna find these in your frozen food section of Kroger or Whole Foods or Walmart. And they are old style European waffles. They're absolutely delicious. You can put fruit on them. You can put syrup. I actually have a brie, uh, blueberry, lemon zest recipe on my blog for the waffles as well. Okay, what flavor do you have right there? What flavors are those? So these are gonna be chocolate ones. Oh, they wow. They have all sorts of different flavors. These are the original style. Oh, the but protein. Then, but these are also protein packed as well. They're absolutely delicious. Well, everybody's trying to, you know, bulk up for the summertime. You know, we hey. gotta get summertime fine, baby. Hey, yeah, you, uh, <laughs> you know what, Shanice, you, uh, you kind of, putting me in a bind because I know Maria's going to be uh, getting all these recipes and making some different type of mimosas now. Well, I am, and I'm thinking even though we said mimosas, you know, usually go towards brunch or breakfast, when she added that orange sherbet in there, mm. now that makes it a dessert you can have any time of the day. Mm. So. so that's your reason that you're going to be drinking right there, right? Uh, okay. okay. Now, okay. Shanice, where can we find the Julian's waffles at? You can find it on their website at juliansrecipe.com or Walmart, Whole Foods, or Kroger in the frozen food section. Oh, so they're pretty much everywhere. You know where to get orange sherbet and orange juice. And so you're going to get, you got the recipe, Josh? I got the recipe, but do you? <laughs> no, hold That's on. That's the real question. Shanice, does Julian's, did, did their website have any, like, recipes on how you can, like, kind of spice up the uh, waffles? I know you said you're putting your brie and everything on yours. Do they have recipes on their website? Oh, there's tons of recipes on there. You've got to go visit the website. They also have artesian breads that are also found in the frozen section. Oh. So if you're not looking for breakfast food, if you want to go more lunch or create a charcuterie board, there's lots of recipes on there. A lot of different options. All right, now tell our viewers, where can they find you and your recipes at? So I'm on my blog, she'sbecomingdomestic.com. You can also find me on Instagram, at Shanice Ireland, or Facebook, or Twitter. I have lots of recipes, and as I mentioned, I've got four kids, so there's just lots of crazy motherhood parenting stuff on there, too. I know, that's right. Thank you so much for joining us, Shanice. Look, happy National Mimosa Day on Sunday. She's going to drink we, up, we, right? We will, be, we will be with you <laughs> we, in spirit. Right, we sure will. <laughs> Look, we got more Cribs in the CLE. When we return, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Watching Cribs in the CLE. You're watching Cribs in the CLE. All right, man, what are we gonna do after this? Uh, it's Friday. Go, go chill. I'm Relax. thinking we can stop by Cedar Point real quick. Mimosa. Cedar Point, real quick. Ain't no going, ain't no stopping by Cedar See Point the kids, real quick. Baby, it's, it's, we right here on 90. Ain't no, right? We ain't by no Wel 90. Welcome back. To <laughs> Cedar Point. Welcome back to the show, you guys. I'm trying to get job. We gotta go check on our kids. We can check on them by phone call. That's why inventions you know, were why made. They, why they invent Y'all good? Now look, okay, so cool. anyway, look, there's this <laughs> podcast that I recorded a few weeks ago with uh, Steffi Llewellyn, okay. who she has the Who Does She Think She Is podcast. Oh, yeah. And it just got released this week, so I wanted to show you guys a graphic of the, um, there she is right there, and that's the episode that I am on. If you go, you know, you have your cell phone, they have the apps where you can just listen to your podcast if you guys want to check me out. I'm getting a lot of good reviews about this one. Yeah. People, like, they feel like, oh, well, I know a little bit more about you now. So if you mm -hmm. guys listen to podcasts, check out the Who Does She Think She Is podcast. And then if you like mine, click on a few other ones that Stephanie did and check her out. Yeah. All right? That's now, look, I saw this video last night, and you and I were both cracking up, and we, have to, we had to share this with y'all. You look, more than me. Look bro. at what this guy did right here. Look. <laughs> It's night, night time. <laughs> so, why did he do that, Josh? Look, look, look. Could you imagine? It's night, night time. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I, went on, I guess this guy's a convenience store owner. I don't know if his patrons know that he does this, but he had maybe like a hundred videos of him doing this to people inside of his convenience store. Don't shoot I thought me it was with, crazy. Don't shoot me with no tap water in my eyes. I Especially doing now, I'm like, oh, COVID, <laughs> and he got me. I'm, I don't know what I'm that was. I'm walking dead now. I mean, somebody could get some serious trouble doing that, though, but I was cracking up laughing. I was just like, oh, you, no, he didn't. You got to have a sense of humor. You do. You got, got to. Man. And you got to take me to Cedar Point to see the kids. I ain't taking you to Cedar Come Point. Come on, baby, please. Now nah, you going to find out on Monday <laughs> if you went to Cedar Point. <laughs> Look, to we kids. love y'all so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you back here Monday on Cribs in the CLE. CLE. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> You're watching Cribs in the CLE.